Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Photon Shaders for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, all you wanna do is go to your search bar and search up mod Rinfexo, and from there, you want to go to modrinf.com and click on modrinf. Now, all you want to do is once you are on the modrinf homepage, you want to go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you want to go down to shaders. Now, all you want to do is go to search shaders, and you want to type in photon shaders, and here you'll see photon shaders. So just click on the name, and now you'll be on the photon shaders homepage on modern so here all you want to do is go to versions and now you want to go to game versions and you want to select what game version you want to play but as there's only three of them here in most cases it'll just be the latest one right here for you so all you want to do is just go ahead and click the green download button and now you have photon shaders downloaded so from there all you want to do is get yourself something that can burn shaders on Minecraft, which is Iris or Optifine. So we'll be using Iris for today's tutorial. And to get Iris, you want to go to a new tab, and then you want to go to your search bar and search up Iris shaders, like so, just enter. And then you'll find Iris shaders are dev, just click on Iris shaders, and this will bring you to the Iris shaders homepage. So here, all you want to do is click the blue download now button, and then you want to click the blue download universal job button. And now you have Iris installer, but as it's a .jar file, you might not be able to run it as you might not have Java for Windows installed. So what you want to do is go to a new tab and you want to go to your search bar. You only need to do this if you can't run the installer, but it's just JTK24 here. And here you'll find Java downloads by oracle.com, just click on Java downloads. And here I will have this website linked in the description as well, but just go and accept all. Scroll down, click on JDK24 if it's not ready. Click on Windows. Here you'll find x64 installer. Click this link here to download and install Java24, and you'll be able to go ahead and run the Iris installer once you're done. So here, what you want to do is once you have everything sorted out, just close or minimize your web browser and go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. From there, all you want to do is double click the Iris installer. From there, all you want to do is go to the select a game version and select what Minecraft version you want to play. I'm going to choose the latest one here, and from there, just do install. Once it's completed, just close the installer and go to the Minecraft launcher. From there, all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to the shader packs folder to add photon shaders. So basically, if you have Iris and Sodium here, you have a new folder which you can access by going to installations here by hovering over Iris and Sodium and go to the folder icon. Here all you want to do is find shader pack somewhere, here it is, and double click it. And once you're in it, go to downloads, you want to select and copy photon here. Then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste. And you now copy pasted photon in dot Minecraft shader packs. So once you have this layout here, all you want to do is go back to the Minecraft launcher. You want to go to play, make sure Iris and Sodium is selected and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once you have Minecraft here, you can go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. I'm just going to go to a single player world, and from there you want to activate the shader. So basically, once you're in the world, all you want to do is simply go ahead and activate the shader. You can do this by going to Escape, Options, Video Settings, Shader Packs, then selecting Photon Shader here. You want to darken the select here, like so. And once you have this, all you want to do is click apply. And this will activate the shader. You can click this button here to visualize the gaming experience. And you can also go to shader pack settings here to change some settings. So for example, you can change the profile to high, for example. You can change some specific things like turning off waving plants, whatever. And once you have everything sorted out, just do apply again. And now all you want to do is escape everything and you now have photon shaders. So that is how we get ourselves photon shaders. As you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. The water looks great, the fog, 
the guard rays, the sun, the clouds, everything of this shader looks awesome. So yeah, that is how we get photon shaders for Minecraft Java. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.